Margaret Sanger was born as a sixth child in 1879 to a mother who had experienced 18 pregnancies in 22 years. Margaret's mother was severely weakened by her 18 pregnancies and 11 children. This is what fueled her to begin her work for women's rights. Labeled as a rebel, Sanger expressed her individual ideas on women's choice to use birth control. She began a newspaper called The Woman Rebel, ever because of the Comstack Law of 1873, contraceptive was legal. Still, she has fought for women's rights for her choice of contraceptives. Even though it was illegal, Sanger still distributed birth control and eventually opened the first contraceptive clinic in 1916. She also began an organization called the American Birth Control League, which would later become the Planned Parenthood Federation of America. Planned Parenthood is a very popular association today. They help provide care to women desiring birth control, abortions, and sex education programs, as well as other testing for disease and infection. In 1992, the Supreme Court tried the case of Planning Parenthood versus Casey, which ruled abortion as legal. But states may regulate abortions and prohibited those of a viable fetus. President Obama commented on Planned Parenthood positively in 2012, protesting the defunding of Planned Parenthood. Margaret Sanger's fight for women's rights is still going on today, but without her great strides in health care, we would not be where we are today.